Hi everybody, today is February 29th, 2012. Radiation inside Fukushima reactor is so high that new machines must be designed to monitor it. One of Japan's crippled nuclear reactors still has fatally high radiation levels and hardly any water to cool it, according to an internal examination Tuesday that renews doubts about the plant's stability. A tool equipped with a tiny video camera, a thermometer, a douse meter, and a water gauge was used to assess damage inside the number two reactor containment chamber for the second time since the tsunami swept into the Fukushima Daiichi plant a year ago. The probe done in January failed to find the water surface and provided only images showing steam, unidentified parts, and rusty metal surfaces scarred by exposure to radiation, heat, and humidity. The data collected from the probe showed that the damage from the disaster was so severe the plant operator will have to develop special equipment and technology to tolerate the harsh environment and decommission the plant, a process expected to last decades. And meanwhile, the radiation encompasses the globe. Tuesday's examination with an industrial endoscope detected radiation levels up to 10 times a fatal dose inside the chamber. Plant officials previously said that more than half of the metal melted fuel had breached the core and dropped to the floor of the primary containment vessel, some of it splashing against the wall or the floor. Particles from melted fuel had probably sent radiation levels up to dangerously high, 70 servers per hour inside the container, said a spokesman for the Tokyo Electric Power Company. It's beyond that. It's gone into the soil. It's extremely high, he said, adding that the endoscope would only last 14 hours in that condition. We have to develop equipment that can tolerate high radiation when locating and removing metal fuel during the decommission. The probe also found the containment vessel, a beaker-shaped container enclosing the core, had cooling water up to only 60 centimeters, 2 feet, from the bottom, far below the 10-meter yards estimated when the government declared the plant stable in December. Finding the water level was important to help locate damaged areas where radioactive water is escaping. He said that the actual water level inside the chamber was way off the estimate, which had used data that turned out to be unreliable. But the results don't affect the plant cool shutdown status because water temperatures above 50 degrees Celsius or 122 Fahrenheit, indicating the melted fuel is cooled. We trust them, right? Three Daiichi reactors had meltdowns. But the number two reactor is the only one that has been examined because radiation levels inside the reactor building are relatively low and its container is designed with a convenient slot to send in the endoscope. The exact conditions of the other two reactors where hydrogen explosion damage their buildings are still unknown. Simulations have indicated that more fuel inside number one had breached the core than the other two, but the radiation at number three remains the highest. The high radiation level inside number two reactor's chamber means it's inaccessible to the workers, but parts of the reactor building are accessible for a few minutes at a time, with the workers wearing full protection. So how long is it going to take them to develop this new technology, which we don't have? Even after they develop the new technology, they say it's going to take decades to clean up this mess. All right, bookmark my site. I'll keep everyone up to date. Stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless y'all. Bye.